Hello, everybody. Welcome back to today's Retro Tech. I've got a new monitor review prepared here for you. And uh, I've got kind of a spoiler alert here at the beginning. If you run into one of these JVCs, grab it because they are awesome uh, CRT monitors. So let's just get started. Today's monitor is the TMH150CG. Again, this is a high resolution CRT Pro video monitor. And if we look at the front here, you'll see it's got a nice JVC logo up in the top left-hand corner. And then all our buttons are down here in the lower front area of the monitor. Just some of the highlights. This is a high-resolution uh, video monitor with more than 750 TV lines. So it says over 750 TV lines and it doesn't say 750 exactly it says set over 750 you see right there so that is right on par with uh, about a m4 uh, sony m4 pvm or maybe even a tw uh, 14 f1u that's kind of the similar line count that's about an 800 line tv uh, count for resolution on those trinitron PVMs and BVMs. There's a slot in the back that you can add an optional component or SDI card. It's multi-standard, accepting both NTSC and PAL. It also does have 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio as well as 4 by 3. It's got a very nice almost cube design. And one of the main big points about it is it is a true a uh, 15 inch monitor or 14 inch screen. So when you normally get a Sony PVM that is a Sony 14 or BVM 14, the screen size will not actually be 14. It'll be one inch less, about 13, just thir over 13 inches. This one's just over 14 inches. So you're getting a one inch larger tube. And that is honestly the only 15 inch Pro video monitor tube that I'm even aware of was ever manufactured. It has a very nice heavy duty metal shell as far as the casing goes. As it goes around the side and around the back, similar to the PVM or BVM, except it's all metal in the back. If we look at some more of the features real quickly, uh, it does do both 120 volt AC current for power and 220 to 240 volt. So you can use this in other countries that have different types of AC power current. And it does have two color temperatures on board. It has a 6500 and a 9300, both selectable. And there are these optional accessories. So these are the input cards that are sold directly from JVC. Now these cards themselves are pretty rare, but thankfully there's an eBay seller named Jam who actually makes these uh, component as well as a straight SCART RGB video card for this monitor as well as other JVC monitors that have this slot input. I'll put a tag up here where I reviewed those products before in another video and you can go check that out. But those are highly recommended and those are definitely what I've been using uh, when I use this monitor. It does have a built-in mono speaker and it weighs just over 35 pounds. It's right on the same size as a uh, Sony PVM 14 inch like a any type it's the same pretty much square size as that so it's a little bit smaller than the bvms uh, that are similar in performance to this monitor now you do have a proprietary power button here right on the back and then we've got ins and outs video line a is a composite only in but it does have out possibly so if you want to daisy chain that then video line b also has a composite video in and out and a yc which is s video in and out and then this is our audio plug ups for both those inputs however i told you there's a slot at the top of the monitor right there where normally you could use those jvc manufacturers oem slot input cards but thankfully we have the replacements available for a lot less money these cards are about 70 to 80 dollars and they do work great with these monitors they slip in real nicely on some tracks and then just push right into a 
uh, PCB there at the back, really easy to install and works really well with these monitors. I definitely recommend uh, getting those cards. Now, if we take a look internally for a moment, I want to show you some of the important things to just take a quick look at. If you ever get this monitor, even if you're not doing any internal adjustments, this particular B uh, monitor does not have really any internal adjustments you need to worry about getting to. What you want to do is just get inside and make sure there's not a lot of dust built up on those capacitors. And you want to come down here and inspect these capacitors down here and make sure none of them are bulged and also check the board under them to make sure that none of them are leaking. And if they are, then you definitely want to get them checked out. But there's not a whole lot of... Uh, extra things you're going to be able to adjust back here. This is the flyback for this JVC, and I thought it was kind of interesting. It's a JVC branded OEM or manufactured straight from JVC, I guess, uh, part. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, just some more things to notice. It's really a lot of metal back here in the shielding, which is nice. You want to just take a quick look at your anode cap and then the cable and make sure there's no splits in any of that make sure that your yoke plastic doesn't look cracked or anything and you can just blow the dust off there with some compressed air and uh, use some brushes i've made many videos about cleaning the monitors before so i always recommend getting in here and knocking all those dust and cobwebs off and again just inspecting capacitors um, and making sure also it's a good thing to check that everything looks like it's still plugged in that's supposed to be plugged in just do a quick check on there and see that everything remained plugged in now there are some things down here on the side first right above my head on the picture you'll notice this is the one mono speaker on the side and right next to that we have a chung hui uh, crt tube and this again is a shadow mass tube so there's three individual guns in here for red green and blue and shung Wei was one of the major manufacturers of crts along with like panasonic and hitachi and uh, other a couple other main manufacturers of those tubes and this big pcb right here is our for the most part our video control board it controls all our video inputs as well as that option card that's what it's sliding into so that's kind of like the brain of the uh, system now i'm going to show you just some test footage real quick first of some uh, gameplay in 240p this monitor will go both 240p and 480i and video resolutions however it will not do 480p it will do 480i and 240p no problem but nothing over that there are some jvc monitors that are similar to this a 17 and a 19 inch that will do multi-format and also uh, they will do higher resolutions like 480p and above so keep an eye out for those because the same thing goes with them a lot of them are missing that video card in the back which is easy to replace now but you could easily tell on the picture that this monitor produces some beautiful scan lines it, it does have a nice bright colorful picture tube still a wonderful picture to play any kind of you know 15 kilohertz video game that you can sync up to the monitor will look wonderful on it it does if you get real close like we are here you'll notice a lot of detail on the scan lines of course no input lag whatsoever when you're using these monitors and uh, just an all around great experience especially for 240p and i got another game here which is one of my favorites for sega cd and it is terminator what i want you to notice is i tried to get this picture these this footage as close as possible uh, in focus to so you could see just what it looks like super up close and the resolution what you're kind of getting is uh, that's the way that you know it that shadow mask that's what the image quality looks like on there i think it's very great looking image uh, especially uh, considering it's an alternative to trinitrons that's often overlooked so one more thing i wanted to point out was the quality of video that you get on this monitor 
when you're using 480i. A lot of people do get concerned sometimes, rightfully so, that the higher line count of 850 TV lines and higher on Trinitrons will actually produce a flickering image, not so much in the 240p, but in the 480i. And this tube does not appear to have anything like that. It has a nice, smooth, uniform picture and very very uh, enjoyable to watch any type of analog video that you might have, and no matter the format. This particular format for Tom and Jerry here was in composite. So even in composite, it looks really well on there. There's a lot of little comb filters and things that can improve the color and sharpness on the composite picture. Now, it doesn't look as good as the component or the uh, RGB will or even the S-Video, but still very usable if you have anything that you want to put in it that will be uh, composite video format. Just some final notes here. Again, there are those different video cards that are available. Sometimes you'll run into these JVC monitors that are similar to this one, but there is no card option available in the back. We're starting to, I'm starting to talk to some people who've done uh, RGB mods on some of those. So I think that with some more research, we may be able to get in there and finally, uh, convert a lot of those to RGB. So if I come across any of those, I will grab one to make sure that we can try to RGB mod those because they have nearly the same tube as these. So there's just a great option uh, considering how much rarer and harder it is to get PVMs and BVMs. It's always a good idea to look at some of these other brand of monitors. So keep an eye out for any JVC or even Panasonic, because they nearly mirror this monitor uh, setup, the Panasonics. A lot of them are the same as the JVCs when you get into researching them. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, review. Please let me know if you have any questions about this CRT, and I'll be glad to follow up with uh, any answers or get any more research that you might want. But again, highly recommend this monitor. And if you come across one, make sure you grab it up. <laughs> and I'm Steve. I thank you again for watching today. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time with some more retro content.